Howdy y'all, it's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and today I'm here with the organization hop um, put on by Karen Yagel over at Yes Please Paper Crafts, and today we are doing a craft room tour. Now, you guys know by now that I am not a perfectionist, <laughs> and my room is not perfectly organized. Despite what some people say that I live in a craft room, um, I am going to try not to shake the phone too much or move too fast and make you guys sick. Um, I'm going to give you all a little look-see around the room um, and some of my organization methods, some things I would like to change and do a little bit different. But, um, it's good to put a face to a name, huh? So, for those of you guys that don't know me in real life, Hey y'all, this is really who I am, <laughs> and it's a little bit scary. Um, okay, so I'm sitting down in a chair right now. Um, I share half of this room. It's my den. It's an add-on um, to the house. Um, it was done before we moved in. But um, I share half of the room with, well, a third of the room, probably, with my husband, um, who does stained glass sporadically whenever he feels like it really um he has lots of hobbies that are expensive but he doesn't last long with them um i tell him at least i use my scrapbook stuff okay so i am just going to turn the camera around and show you guys my room or not Let's see. All right, y'all. So I'm going to try to move slowly. Um, I'm just going to do a little pan around the room real quick, and then I will show you more in depth. Um, I don't have an expensive craft room. Well, except for really the products in it. But um, my shelving, my bookshelves, um, all that stuff, are the cheap Walmart bookshelves um these small short ones right here they're like the $15 bookshelves at Walmart um and most of my storage containers either came from the Dollar Tree or Dollar General um or like thrift stores um the tall bookshelves right there are the $30 bookshelves at Walmart um and those are probably a couple years old. Um, but the small ones I've probably had for, I don't know, probably 10 years at least. Um, this is an old entertainment center that I repurposed that my stepdad that passed away gave me. Um, I added some lots to it. I built the shelves in the center. Um, and I just store my albums up on top of there. And then I have another one of the bookshelves um, to hold my albums over there. And this is my husband's glass shelf. Um, <laughs> I got it for him for free um, from a lady who runs a thrift store where everything's free. And um, after I got it home, I realized that would have been perfect for my paper storage. So, you know, whenever he decides to give up the stained glass, that's going to be mine. <laughs> and this is just his desk here. Um, pretty, pretty simple in his chair, which was my chair. Um, but it didn't work out. So, and then we are back around again at my table. Um, sorry, my air just kicked on. So let me turn around. Sorry if I'm making you guys sick. Um, Okay, so like I said, this is my bookshelf, um, one of them, and it just holds my albums, um, my little macrame stuff. I dabbled in that at one point. I'd like to make some more, but I can't remember how to do it. <laughs> um, and I just have my excess books, um, my Bibles, my Bible studies, all that stuff in there. Um, in the glass, some random craft stuff in the bottom doors I'm not even going to bother with. 
Um, like I said, I keep um, my extra albums. Well, that's not extra. Those are completed. Um, I've been scrapbooking for 27 years, so I have a lot of them done. And that's not to mention all the ones that's still stored in boxes. Um, this is, of course, my Cricut. Um, I have the little storage boxes up there, the hat boxes um, for my other stuff, like wooden stamps, wood burning. Um, supplies, things like that, half dead plants because <laughs> I suck at taking care of indoor plants. I can do outdoor ones all day long, but cannot do indoor to save my life. They die. This is me trying to preserve flowers by laying them out to dry, but some of them's kept their color. They've been there for a couple months. Um, this is just something i found at a thrift store um at this store i mean you can see i have labels on it it's got post-its in it it's got sewing supplies in it um nothing fancy um but it serves a purpose um i have more of the little boxes up here that has like my um my mini stamp pads and things like that in it um I have my other books, like my gardening books and things like that. Cards that are keepsakes that I'm keeping that people's made for me. Um, I think that's about it in that cabinet. Um, all my messy wires for my internet stuff. Um, I have this rainbow cart and I keep like my stickles, um, things like that in it. Flock. Um stuff I don't use very often. I wondered where that was. That's my air conditioner remote. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that out. Um, I have flower punches. I only have a few punches. Um, I actually picked up some more at a yard sale this morning, so kind of excited about that. Um, I have all my adhesive in here. Um, and then I have like the loose ribbon. The messy stuff. <laughs> um, I have my 12 by 12 cardstock stored um, in these bins. Um, I've had them for a long time. I bought them at Walmart. Um, and they work perfect. Um, of course, I do rainbow order for stuff. This is my car. I usually pull it out um, beside me to work. Um, I showed this car in a previous video. It holds all my glitters, my um scissors my pens and um, my paint all that stuff um and i recently since that video i recently picked this up um at a yard sale it was brand new for two dollars and it apparently came from the dollar general and you could actually screw it in if need be um but it just has that um real sticky tape on it I have my mailing center over here because I do um, do lots of swaps. And so I just keep all my stuff there for mailing. Um, down there is honestly just a bunch of random junk. It has my old photos that I don't know if I will scrapbook. My printer paper. My thing of Christmas embellishments that I'm not ready to get out yet. Um... I recently got this at a yard sale for $3, and I actually posted on Ginger's group asking um, for advice on how what to store in it, and someone gave me the suggestion for my 6x6 and 6x8 paper pads, and it has worked out great because I'm able to flip through it, and I've learned that I'm a flipper. Like, I, I don't like it, things being cluttered. Um... But I do like to have the ability to be able to flip through and see what I have and grab it really quick. And these little drawers actually pull out. Um, it's a little bit heavy. But on the bottom, since it wasn't tall enough to store paper, it was the perfect fit for these. So I have like my bigger wood veneer that's too big to um, fit in the containers I have for it. I'll show in a second. Um, but that worked out great. And this... Um, was from a yard sale, but it was brand new and it came from the Dollar General store for like, I think, $12 or $15. Um, but it's a pretty sturdy little piece. Um, 
Okay, let me grab my chair and roll it over here so I can sit down and show y'all. Okay, um, this is just my extra swap bin and my, my working swaps. Um, this is my color bins. Um, I got this idea from watching someone on YouTube. I don't remember who it was because I know it was over a year ago. Um, but they had put all their embellishments together, um, in a box. Most embellishments. So, I decided to do the same thing. And, um, I don't know if I can flip my, I don't know if that's going to work out right. Um, turn it around. But, um, pretty much, I stored, like, extra die cut pieces in that color. I have, um eight of these color bins for all the different colors. I put all my buttons in together, um, little pink stuff that was random. I put um, bling, I have um, sequins, I have um, my brads and eyelets and anything like that. And then I have all of my paper flowers that I keep in these. And it's worked out pretty good. I have to say, if I'm looking for, like, flowers or bling in a certain color or buttons, I'd come directly to this. When it comes to this stuff, not so much, because I don't think to look here. Um, and sometimes if I'm coming to get one of these other things out, I'll see this and think, oh, yeah, I could use that, and I will use it. But, I mean, a lot of this stuff I put in here because I wasn't using it, and I'm still not using it. So, I'm probably going to clean it out and maybe um, rethink some of the things. But, each each one of my color bands are the exact same, um, the exact same setup. Um, it's just a different color. So, and I, like I said, I got these at Dollar General. I think they was $12 a piece, but these, let me open it again. These little containers are removable. You can um, exchange them out. Um, you know, you could put this one over here next to this one and scoot it over if you want. I just wanted the same exact setup for all of them. Okay. Like I've mentioned, I'm in lots of swaps. Um, I've done swaps for a lot of years. Um, I really got back into it a couple years ago, and I've been um, taking and swapping. So I needed a way to store that stuff. And I started out with these. Um, they've become overrun, so I've moved a lot of things to my iris cases. But, like, this one's my spring drawer. Um... And I just keep all of my little die cuts in there. Whenever I get ready to make a page and I want something spring, I go to that one. Same, I got birthday, Easter, um, animals, Valentine's and New Year's, Christmas. Um, I actually have multiple Christmas bins. Um, I just have all of my um, ink pads, my big ink pads in this. Um, this little crate that I got at a yard sale for 50 cents. I got some trays with miscellaneous stuff. Um, this is my iris cases. Um, that one's running over. I'm not even going to pull it out. I'll show you the other ones in a minute. I, this is new. Something I picked up. It's just um, like a little tiered. It's hard to see, but it's just a little tiered shelf. Um, and I've been putting layouts in it that I've completed for 30 days of sketches. Um, and it's worked out good. At the end of the month, I normally don't store them standing up, but at the end of the month, I'm going to take and, um, do a layout, um, review with all the ones that I've done. Um, this is my little, um, just a refrigerator bin that I ordered off Amazon, a multi-pack of them. Um, it has all of my, um, sprays, um, my little stamp platforms and all that stuff glossy accents this is my marker area um it's a totally tiffany um thing that i picked up at tuesday morning quite some time ago um 
Then this is all my Distress Oxides. I got the little container holder things at scrapbook.com. Um, whenever they were on sale, I think I paid, I don't know, 5 or $6 a piece for them. But I looked the other day, and I think it said it was like $20 or $30. And I would not pay that for it. It's just plastic. You could literally make them to hold the ink pads with some foam board and make it look nice. Um... This is just a wooden box that my daughter built built me, um, and I've just been keeping the little buckets and my markers in it. I got these markers. I did want to say this because I've been telling everyone, but I went by Five Below, if you have a Five Below, and they have these. It says there it's 48 alcohol markers, but it has all of these colors in it, and they actually color really good because normally I'm a tri-blend girl. Um, but I've been having a hard time getting tri-blend markers. Um, and these are, have ones that are such close shades that it's very easy to blend them. And they color really nice. I've used them quite a bit already. Um, this is new. Um, I got these at Harbor Freight. Um, they were on sale for $1.99 a piece. They all interlock. They um, actually come in. You buy each one individual, and then they just interlock. I put my wood veneer in here, um, hope, hoping that getting it out of a box where it was all combined together, that I would actually reach for it and use it more. Um, I got my blending brushes on Timu. Um, I do have one close to my heart one. But I recently got this little brush holder um, on Timu for like $3. And it actually works really good. Um, this is... I get a lot of questions about this. And I'm sorry that my corner's piled up, but it is what it is. But this is a shoe rack, and it actually expands and comes apart in the center. So... I wait till I have a lot of missing rolls of ribbon before I actually take it apart and take all the old rolls off and add the new ones that I have. Um, but it has worked out great. I picked it up at a thrift store years ago. Um, but I have saw some like it at Walmart. Um, so that would be worth checking out. Um, also, I get lots of... Um, people that like this concept, but this is just my layout wall. I just took a curtain rod, tied ribbons on it, tied them to page protectors, and then jump ring the bottom, um, the top page protectors to the bottom to be able to put them up there, and I am able to change out my layouts. Okay, and then of course I have my shelves. The little camera picture frames came from Dollar Tree. I also get asked that a lot, but they came from Dollar Tree. Um, last time I was in there, they still had them. Um, I've had those for quite some time, though. Okay, so then here's my big bookshelves. Um, I keep vinyl up there in that bucket on the top, that brown bucket. Um, that's some crayon art that me and the kids did. Um, for Brooke's birthday one year. Um, pretty much the little things there have office supplies like paper clips, all that stuff in it. I'm trying not to move too much so that I don't make y'all sick. Um, this is my fiber and twine, um, box. I've had this for a long time. Not exactly sure what it was. It had little dividers in it. I think maybe it was a cigar box or something um, for them really bougie cigars. And I covered it with scrapbook paper. Um, and I've just got stuff thrown in it at this point. But it was all organized um, by color and all that. Um, this is a box I got, I think, at the Goodwill for maybe 50 cents. That I have all of these in it. Um, Y'all saw me use these a lot in my videos, but it's just my little fillers and um, things like that. I picked up at Dollar Tree. You can get um, 
like a six pack of them for three dollars which is a really good deal to me they come in all different colors and now our dollar tree let's see if i can move it over in the lot they have these little fruit ones and they all come in these little containers already so you don't even have to separate them um, it has all kinds of stuff it's great to use in shakers on your pages for a little bit of extra bling this is just a card making um box it has like envelopes and card bases and all that in it of course my die cutting machine i have this magic mat and some people love it and some people hate it but i love it i've used it for five or six months maybe longer and it has very minimal warping it don't look pretty and it does hang on to the little bit pieces of paper in it but it doesn't affect the cutting of it still cuts great i use it almost every day um right here is some more of the picture boxes um it just has random things in it um like chipboard albums dollies um handmade flowers stuff like that um that i just want to store um long term pretty much this is a new um both of these are new to me storage um ways because i was putting all of these trying to fit them in a box or in a one of the crates and it was not working out um but the flip through method like i said works really good i was able to get these on amazon in a bulk pack um, i actually need to order more because i have these overfilled um and some of them have magnets and some of them don't but um i just took a little scalloped um circle and just folded it in half put it on with double stick tape and wrote on it what they were this is all my little girls i like to put together and i just got six new ones so i'm so excited to be able to do those when i get time but um now i'm able to just flip through and find what i need they have the little tabs up on them um so yeah and then this is the only in balsam folders that i have so it's it's worked out well for me to have this this basket is hard plastic and i actually got it at the dollar tree for three dollars um i think it was well worth it it's a pretty big basket this is just a little container um, that I got for 50 cents at a yard sale. And um, I did have all my um, like sequins and other fillers stuffed in a little drawer. And it was not working out whatsoever. Um, it was getting crunched up because the drawer was so full. And then I couldn't find it when I was digging through it. So, like I said, the flip method I've found works best for my organization style. So, I'm able to just flip through... Um, whenever I want to find something and that's easy okay so then I have these iris cases and this is how I store all of my stickers um, my extra die cuts for each thing um, and all that stuff um, let's see I'll pull this one out and show y'all it isn't in any order. It's not pretty, but it's functional. Um, pretty much, I just have them labeled so I know. Um, and then, like I said, I just have stickers. This one has vacation, summer, and 4th of July in it. Um, it has additional swap pieces. Usually, I've used up most of them. But this is just how I store um, all that type of stuff. And I just dig through it whenever I want to find something specific to work on. Um, and I learned if you store these sideways. Sorry, it's hard to get it up there. Okay, I'm not going to put it back with one hand. But if you store them standing it up um, on the shelf, you can fit seven of them on there. And it takes up a lot less space. And you don't have to unpile it every time you want to pull one out um i saw that on another video and then i did that because i don't know why i never thought of that myself um okay so then i have paper storage um they are just in these bins that's my paper books 
Um, I got those a long, 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 long time ago at Dollar General. Um, and they've served me well. A few of them have got broke. Before I got these, they used to make the priority boxes. Um, those were the flat rate priority boxes. And they were the perfect size to hold 12 by 12. And so I had cut some of them down. I started painting them, didn't finish them. But these things are really old. I don't even think they make this size anymore. Um, but I cut them down and stored my paper in them. Um, pretty much same thing here. Um, more paper pads. Um, I really want to organize these in a different way. Um, they're somewhat organized now, like I have all the plural together, and like the Vicky Boot and mixed media type papers together, but um, it's hard to dig through all of that stuff. On this one, I have um, cards that I've made in there that's ready to be sent out. Um, I make scrapbook pages way more than I make cards. This is how I store my pictures. Once I have them printed, I try to print once a month. Because, um, if not, they probably wouldn't get printed. Or something would happen to my phone or something, and then I wouldn't have them. So, I like to print them, and then I'm ready to scrap whenever. Um, I usually print on Walmart.com. Um... And get it shipped within a few days. Um, it does a pretty good job. Pretty thick paper. I'm satisfied with it. Um, this is my washi tape storage. Um, and for some reason it is stuck. I don't know why. Okay. Well, we're going to have to figure that one out. But now is not the time. It never gets stuck, but it's going to get stuck now because I'm videoing. Um, okay, but anyways, this was a K-cup holder. That's what someone told me. Because I found it at a thrift store, and I didn't know what it was actually for. But it works out great. It holds all my washi that I have. I don't have a collection like a lot of people do, but um, I'm satisfied. This is my gardening magazines and um, the few scrapbook magazines that I've kept. Um, not a whole lot. I just keep them down there. I may end up purging those. Um, but I hate to do it because they just don't do it anymore. Okay. Sorry for spinning y'all around. This is, um, how I store my scraps. It's just these paper holders and, um, I just do it by rainbow color. Um, it works out pretty good. I'd like to cut my paper down and i don't know organize it better but i used to use it more i used to have it to the right side of me before i changed my room around um and i reached for it every single time but now that it's behind me when i work i feel like i don't reach for it as much these um i bought after watching joanne bartell's video on youtube for organizing um, I thought I would use them to organize my swaps, but those quickly got overrun. So, um, I just have swap things by theme in them, but they're pretty full at this point. So, either I'm going to have to purge or scrap more. So, we'll see. This is just a little drawer organizer basket. I just keep all my glass blocks in. I keep my really small stamp sets down there in that basket. And then all of my stamp sets are in these crates. Um, I have a lot of close to my heart stamps. No, I am not a rep. Um, I just like their products. Um... I also like to order off of Timu. Um, recently, um, my buddy Mallory found these um, on Amazon. And um, they work great because they're the exact same size as the Close to My Heart 
um, stamp cases so they fit perfect in this and once again this works out well because I can just flip through um, and see what I got to find so um, that works good I just have them kind of organized by um, I don't know, topic. <laughs> I'm running out of words, y'all. I got, like, my critters and my backgrounds and my floral, um, you know, the sentiments and text, um, stamps, Christmas. It's got its own thing, um, and etc. So, I think I have showed you guys everything. Well, except for my table. Oh, and under my table. Okay, sorry for spinning you around. This came about um, because of the flip through issue. I was out of space over here on my bookshelf for um, my paper and my kits. So I got some of these big collapsible bins and I started storing my, my paper collections in. Most of them close to my heart um, that I'm able to just go and flip through. At some point I would like to organize them so that they're by theme. Um, and all that, but, and I have a couple times, but I always put whatever I finished working on, um, last up in the front so it gets out of order. Um, but I have two of those, and, um, it works out great to be able to flip through and see what I have. Um, and I just store a lot of them in, um, page protectors. Um... I have my table here, um, my laptop, and then I have these little um, clear organizer things. I've repurposed them a couple times. I put a few things in them that I would just grab to stick on a layout like flowers, um, circles. I put the little pictures right here, but it didn't work out that well. I still don't use it a whole lot. I have a couple of things that I have in the works, like pages I'm planning on doing it with the pictures over there. Um, I have my little tray here. Um, I saw how Janet uses the little the little trays, and I like that um, to work on. Let me move, move this. But um, I usually dump out all my little pieces on this one. I found if it was um, a busy pattern or dark, it was too hard to see the pieces. Um, so I like having this one, it, even though it's gold. I got it like on clearance at Dollar General at Valentine's Day because they considered it Valentine's. Um, but it's just this plain gold, and I like it. I um, have these little buckets, and I just keep my tape closed because I use a lot of it. And then I got this holder at Tuesday morning, and um, I was storing my thickers in it, but um, I took those out because they were getting a little floppy. So I've just been storing my notebooks that I need that I use every day um, on there. And there's that little kitty cat, Simba. Simba, what are you doing? You want to say hi? Do you want to say hi? Where are you going? Hey, hey, say hi. <laughs> He's the one always usually making noise while I'm um, recording. But okay, so that is my tour um, for you guys. And if you have any questions, you can leave them below. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't. And check out in the description below everyone else playing along on the hop. And until next time, bye y'all.